Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which we will learn how to animate NextGen Sprite's materials together with Dotreen. Dotreen is a free training engine for Unity which, we can, which you can download at the Asset Store and there's also a Pro version which gives you more features and also a visual editor. Alright, so in this tutorial we will learn how to animate float values and colors. There's also many more stuff you can animate with Dotreen on materials, but values, uh, i.e. floats and colors, um, are the two main features most people will probably use. And for, th for this example, I use two buttons, and if we press um, these buttons, then it will invoke our um, animation uh, script. Uh, let me quickly play so that you can see our buttons here. So on the left side we have an animate value button and on the right, right hand side we have an animate color button. So that if we press the animate value button then it will make the value animation and on the right side then the color animation. So let's make a script and a new C sharp script and we call this let's say UI animate material and we jump into mono develop and we need to add first two things first the next gen sprites namespace and second the dotree namespace which is under dg which stands for demigine who is the uh, the maker of dotree and then tweening All right, so the first thing we need is a reference to the game object, which is the sprite. So we call this target sprite. And we also need um, a reference um, to our material, which we will keep private. So private material MAT. And at start, we say if the target sprite is not, not null, then we will get the material reference. So we say mat equals target sprite, then get component sprite renderer material. Cool. And now we need to think about um, to make um, a public method for, the play, for playing the animation which will be then invoked by the button if we click it. So let's make a new method which we call public void public void and let's say play animation. And now we get the material here dot and then if we type in do then we see a lot of a bunch of static methods, extension methods from Dotreen. So yes, just as a um, just remember, if you type in Do, then it's like a shorthand way to get all these um, methods from Dotreen. And as you can see, we have many interesting things. We can animate, for example, we can make some uh, fading on the alpha floats, uh, offsetting textures and uh, uh, vectors and colors and for this one we will begin with float and let's see it takes three input parameters it wants to have a float and value and then the string property with, which is the shader property from the from next gen sprites and then the duration so how much seconds the um, tree should play so let's add some new fields so the first one will be um, the target value so public float target value and then public public float duration and also we need um, uh, we need to get the shader property so we say public shader in this in this case will be the float so shader float and then we call this target property float and then we go back here to our um, play animation method and in this line we, we will say uh, it wants first 
takes first the end value, so we say target value, and then it wants the shader property, so we say target property float get string, and then do duration, so do duration. Great, now let's jump back to Unity. And let's attach the script to our um, animate value um, UI button. And then we can set our make our settings here. So target value, let's say it will be one. And the duration, let's say it will be three seconds. And we like to animate, uh, we can leave it at curvature depth. And we also have to specify our target sprite. So let's take the curvature sprite. And now we have to assign here the onclick action to the play um, animation method. So let's just drag and drop the script here. And then we can select under UI animate material the play animation method. And let's press play. And if we take a look at the curvature here, and if I press now here the animate value button, it's now to 1. And it was before at minus 1. So you can see it was at y minus 1. And we can also change um, the value, let's say that it should go 0, so that um, the curvature should be then disappear, i.e. Um, it's flat. So let's try again, animate value. And it's now flat. All right, so you can see it's, it's, it is at zero. Great. And we can also use this for all other properties. So let's say, for example, um, reflection strength. And let's change the target sprite then to the reflection. And let's say, again, target is zero so that the reflection should disappear. Let's pray the button. And yep, no more reflection. And I can also try this out, for example, with the dissolve, which I think is the most interesting. So let's plug in here our dissolve as the target. And the target value will be, in this case, 1. And the property will be then dissolve blend. Let's, let's play again, and now let's press our animate value button, you can see our sprite disappeared. And with Dotrin you can also um, select and set uh, easing type. So let's say public ease, and then let's call this easing type. And we can already set an ease type, let's say by default it's um, linear, actually not, let's say um, in back for example. And then one great thing with Dotrin is that you can just um, use extension methods to stack your um, animation here. So I can just say set ease and then we type in our easing type. Great. And you can also do a lot of more um, extensions here. Let's say we can, for example, set the delay, uh, set auto kill, and all this kind of stuff. So let's save this again and let's go back to Unity. And now we can select our easing type. So we can uh, choose, for example, let's say um, in elastic. Let's look how. Let's see how this one looks like. All right, it, this was um, very uh, quick. Let's try, for example, um, the bounce. Let's say in bounce. And yep. Let's try out just quickly uh, in out bounce. Oh yeah, that was kind of interesting. Nice. So now let's make uh, something to animate um, colors. 
So let's make a switch. First, an enumeration. So we say uh, public enum, let's call this um, animation mode. And it will take, um, say, float, and then color. And then we have to take a target um, color value. So let's say public color target color. And we also need a shader color, um, shader property. So public shader color target property color. And now let's add here a switch. So let's say switch. And it will use then um, animation mode. Animation mode. And now let's add our case for the float method. And let's then paste this out of here. And copy it here. All right. And then the next case will be case for um, color. And then let's say that the materials uh, will be set then animated by the color. So we say do color. Oh, whoops, my key keyboard got a little bit crazy now, but let's continue. All right, so it takes the um, color and value. So let's see. It was target color. Oops, my keyboard is crazy again. And then the string property, so shader, oops, target property color, get string. And then we say um, the duration, so duration. And then we also set the async type, so set is. And then async type. All right, great. And this way we can have this two different kind of um, animations, but still using the same script. And we can actually also set a um, default value for the um, enum here. Uh, we can say, um, oh, actually we need to add it here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's say here, public, public animation mode, mode, uh, let's say, um, mode, just, we call this mode, and we have to add here, say, mode, and then we can set it to default value, we can say, um, animation, animation mode, Float. So it will be set by default to float. And let's save this and let's go back to Unity. As you can see, we now can select which kind of mode we like to choose. And if we are in the float mode, then the um, target color in the target property color will be ignored. You could write your own custom editor script so that you can um, hide these, but that's not part of this um, uh, tutorial. All right, now let's go to the um, color button here and let's add the script. And here we choose then the color as the um, default, as the mode, and then the target sprite will be emission. And the target property color will be emission, which we target in the color. Let's say it will be, for example, blue. Blue. And the target um, and the duration will be, let's say, three seconds. And we also need to specify the action here again on the button. So let's say play animation. Let's play. And now if I press the animate color button, as you can see, it's now blue. Like we can also say duration is just one second. Let's choose this time something yellow. Let's press again our animation. It's now turned yellow. And then we can go to red. Animate again. It's now this color. 
and we can go back to white. We can choose another easing type, even print, and it's now back to white. Cool. I hope you learned something interesting, and see you soon. Bye bye.